Now let's take a look at the MSR ulnar nerve uh, entrapment protocol. So the ulnar nerve comes off of the C8 through T1 nerve roots, and as it travels through the axilla and this part of the upper arm, no branches come off of it. Once it gets to the elbow here, just behind the medial epicondyle is the cubital tunnel, and the nerve traverses right through there. So if I kind of poke in here, you can the feel that tingling, bone. the funny bone, exactly. So what we're going to do is to start to work the fascial connections close to the ligaments here. Okay, doing okay? Yeah. Okay, and as I do this, I'm going to actually use the fingers to help create a little bit more tissue tension. Doing okay? Yeah. Good. Okay. Now, and bend your elbow just a little bit down. Perfect, right there. Doing okay? Okay. Now we're going to incorporate a bit of nerve flossing as well. So you're going to start there, and I want you to turn away as I create tension. Can you feel that build? Yes. Yeah. And now, let's come back to neutral. Perfect. So you're going to do it again. Okay. I'm going to bring the arm a little further back this time. Good. Now let's just test something. So if you look towards me, can you feel that tension decrease? Yes. Yeah. So that would be more of a glide. Mm -hmm. And as you look away, we're doing more of a flossing and increasing tension there on the ulnar nerve. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay, great. Now, I'm going to come back to this position here. As that nerve comes behind the medial epicondyle through the cubital tunnel, it lies underneath the flexor carpi ulnaris here. So we're going to use your fingers once again here to create some tension. And we're going to work our way down all these structures. So here at the wrist, we have the pronator quadratus. I'm going to work down on either side of the, uh, the muscle bellies here. So just kind of working my way down the flexor carpi ulnaris. Doing okay? Okay, good. I'm going to work my way down. Now, that a neuropathy of this nerve is associated with motor weakness of the fourth and fifth digits. It does innervate three muscles and the thenar here as well. So we want to get in there and also free up any restrictions in the palmar area. Good. Doing okay? That's good. Okay, good. Just a little bit more right through there. Good. And as with all uh, upper extremity neuropathies, we want to address the carpals as well and make sure we mobilize the joint. So we just gently get in there and do a little bit of mobilization. Doing okay? Yeah. And we also want to kind of open up the wrist and open up the fascial restrictions there. Make sure we hold the end ranges. Good. Good. Doing okay? Yeah. Okay. So just a great way to release any entrapments from the elbow down into the forearm of this nerve.